Happy Memorial Day, everybody. Uh, this is Griffin Lobster. Welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts, episode 39. Um, so we're, now that Gloria's out there, we're going to go to the Asylum Courtyard. And I, I know for a fact we got a uh, little cutscene coming up. So uh, why don't you just sit back and enjoy. Attack! No, wait! Don't listen to him! Retreat! Shut up, you fool! The battle is ours! Wellington is on the run! This is our moment of glory! Oh, shut up, you loon. The battle can't be won! We're gonna lose it! I'm afraid you lost it years ago, Fred. Now pipe down over there. I am the orderly, and I run a quiet, peaceful, insane asylum. Understood? Oh, now, see? You've disrupted Mr. Tagley's art therapy session. Whatever. <laughs> All right, so that is this is Fred Bonaparte down here, and then up in the loft is Edgar. We're gonna try to get this brain here. You gotta be invisible, so the crows don't see you. And then you go smack that brain, or you don't, and it, <laughs> you can't get it. Awesome. Um, there's uh, this video is gonna be about a half trying to get all the brains and cards in this area. There's not a lot, and then half going to the next level, which will be into Fred into Fred Bonaparte's mind. Yeah, up in the up in that window there is Edgar Tegley. That's our next brain. Here's the crows. I don't know why I pushed that button. Go invisible. Why aren't you attacking? Let's smack some brain. Oh yeah. I'm you hurt that brain when you smacked it, Raz. Maybe you should kiss it to make it better. There you go. Um Okay, so yes, it's Memorial Day. Greetings, Dr. Lobotto. Up to the secret laboratory, then, is it? One moment. You're not Dr. Lobotto. My eye may be half gone, but I would recognize the mad doctor anywhere. He's got that stone-cold face a man doesn't easily forget. He wears a beastly smock covered in thick straps like an electric chair. And in the place where his hand should be, there's nothing but a gleaming metal claw. So if I'm not mistaken, you're not Dr. Roboto, you don't pay my salary, so kindly back away from my elevator and die. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I like Crispin, he's funny. Um, yes, so uh, I have to make a Dr. Lobato costume, and I already have the claw. That was the spiky trophy that I got after finishing Gloria's Mind, right there. So. Yes, indeed. Oh, there's that brain. I was wondering, I smelled, I smelled some brain. All right, let's get it. Chops. No, he says kind of some funny stuff when he when he picks up the brain, but only if you're familiar with the characters. And I missed a lot of available like mini cutscenes, but okay. So I gotta find a lab coat, and I also have to find a face. Yeah, for the Lobato costume. Oh, got hurt by the fire. That's no fun. And I got hurt again by the fire. This is just this is a great video. Yeah, so like I was saying, I hope everybody had a had a nice uh, Memorial Day, or at least anybody who's American. Uh, Sorry I didn't wish any, everybody a happy Victoria Day last week. Um, I'm sorry. I guess that makes me pretty ignorant, doesn't it? Better give him a loose brain in the KLA ASA <laughs> so we can protect him. Most of those things are funny to me. And funny to anybody who's played the game. Uh, next level up is uh, one that seems to also be another fan favorite. Oh, look at that. Brain. We'll get these left and right. This one through that helmet, we'll never know. Okay, there's Helmet Girl's brain. All right, four brains. It's only taken me four minutes, so that's good, kind of. Would have taken me less if I hadn't screwed up. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I always feel like they they could hide things really well in this area. I'm not really sure. I could be totally wrong. Look at me, I'm just bouncing around now. I'm not even doing anything. No, why, why do anything of substance? There's the basket the brain was in. Okay. Well, okay. Well, I think the I think the side challenge marker is in Edgar's room, but I don't want to go in there yet because I don't want to get that cutscene just yet. So, yeah. See, and there's also I think there's also a side card up there. So that's good enough for now. Um, let's talk to Excuse our me, man Fred sir? here. My name is Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, uh, excuse me. 
Mr. Bonaparte. Don't throw in the towel. Just think just... I'm Napoleon Bonaparte. Do not listen to the weakling. He denies his lineage because he feels it. I like your jacket. Very strappy. You want it? You can have it. Just help me undo these buckles in the back and I'll... Get... What are you doing? The uniform of this army is sacred. We shall wear it proudly until the battle is over. Help me. All right, so we are going to help you, sir. Uh, we're going to go into your mind and fix it up. So here we go, the next level in Psychonauts. Waterloo World. Sacre bleu! I have been hit! <laughs> Is there any head in that hat, or am I just going into his hat right now? <laughs> I don't know. Let's, let's, let's not... Let's not uh, get too picky here. Let's just play the level. Play the game. Um, okay, so this level seems to be a lot of people are looking forward to it as well. Not not nearly as much as Milkman Conspiracy, but, you know, I mean, the Milkman Conspiracy is like on a level all on its own. So i got to talk to these really long uh, load screens, so, you know. Goodness gracious, <laughs> I think they get longer every video. Look at this. How long has this been going on? Are you kidding me? Oh, I hope it isn't frozen. Please don't be frozen. Okay, it's not frozen. Looks like they're playing a a game of some kind. It's Napoleon. There he is. Some kind of a uh, looks like kind of like Settlers of Catan. Anyone ever play that board game? It's kind of what it looks like. That kind of what this level reminds me of. Or rather, this level reminds me of Sett or Settlers Catan reminds me of this level because I think I actually played this game before I ever played Settlers of Catan. But if you never played that game, then you don't know what I'm talking about. They're little hexagonal, you know, spaces. All right, so there's some figments in here. We're gonna grab all these and then we'll talk to uh, these two cool cats over here playing this game. Who's winning? Nobody's winning. Want to know who's losing? The Bonaparte family name. Look, I forfeit, okay? You win. Napoleon Bonaparte wins again. Is that the real Napoleon Bonaparte? I mean, the imaginary real Napoleon Bonaparte? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually related to him. Can you believe it? Shut up! Stop telling people that shameful fact. I don't even want to be here. But when this sad excuse for a Bonaparte lost a simple game of war to a feeble-minded invalid, I just could not take it anymore. I was forced to take control, and I will stay in control until I beat the love of victory into this degenerate swan who dares to call himself a Bonaparte. Oh, really, great-great-great-grandpa Napoleon, I do love victory, like, a ton. I love it so much, you can go now, I swear. Your move! Okay. So, the main... Was that hatbox tag there before? And did I just miss it? I'm thinking it wasn't, because I'm not crazy. Alright, this is the main mechanic of the game. We're going to be playing on this game board here. Um, so the ultimate objective is fairly simple. It is to win the game against Napoleon. But this? My lazy opponent is actually trying to win? He has sent in reinforcements. Well, well. Then let the game truly begin. Send in my best soldier. You! <laughs> Destroy that bridge! For France! For France! <laughs> I hate your stupid bridge! This is how much I hate you! Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Suck on that bridge! Ah, yes! <laughs> now I shall torment this poor peasant over here! <laughs> oh, man, now look! The bridge is broken and I can't move my pieces past it anymore! I quit! Napoleon, you win! No! We don't forfeit! We're gonna beat you, Mr. Genetic memory of Napoleon Bonaparte. Haha, <laughs> I like your je ne sais quoi, your joie de vivre. Maybe you will teach my long legged nincompoop a lesson, eh? <laughs> Alors. <laughs> so we're gonna try to defeat the one of the greatest conquerors known to mankind in a board game. That is the ultimate goal. Basically we have to get our pieces get our pieces on the board and use them to defeat his pieces. And basically to finish finish the game um, and have Fred vi be victorious. Now I don't know this this level doesn't look too big right now. I understand. Um, I'm just getting figments right now. But believe me, this level is huge. Probably one of the biggest, most open levels. It's kind of it's really like a one room level. Try to find the carpenter's house here. 
It's the peasants. Here's the carpenters. Check this out. That is how big this level is. It is gigantic. Oh, man. This is... Uh, we've got our work cut out for us. More or less. So, let's just uh, start slow by getting some figments. Oh, man. I realize I'm pretty much out of time. Well, the first uh, pe pe person we're going to talk to uh, is behind that door, and I guess we'll get to that next video. Oh, I guess i got time for this cobweb. Alright, um, so Waterloo World, next video. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, get this guy, I guess. No, I'm just kind of burning time here. Alright, thanks for watching, everybody. It's been Griffin Lobster. Happy Memorial Day, once again.